Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Runquist, and I'm here with Honest from Sabaton, who's going to be opening for Ice to Earth here tonight at First Avenue in Minneapolis, Minnesota. How's it going? It's going good, yeah. So far the tour is going great. You know, we know each other, all the guys from the different bands since before. We toured with Evergreen, my former band. That's right. We did support for Ice to Earth last year, I think. That's right. So it's all good. It's family. It's good. Yeah. And I actually... Uh, I believe you were on the tour. It was uh, Evergreen and Sabaton a Definitely, couple years ago yeah. at Station yeah. 4 in St. Paul. I was right there. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was a good tour. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we got, I got to know the... That's the first time I toured with Sabaton. We got to know each other, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here I am. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. well, it's great to see you here tonight. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how did this tour come together with you guys? For us opening? Yeah, for you opening. Well, that I don't know. I'm, I'm not in charge of that, but... I think it's a good match, you know. We have Revan, their thing, which is really cool, you know, and mm -hmm. we're here to do our thing, and I surf, are killing it every night, so I think it's a good package, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. So how long was that do you guys have for this tour? We have, I think we have 40 or 45 minutes. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's and it, of course, you guys are uh, touring in support of your new album, Heroes, which will be coming out very soon. Yeah. Uh, what, into, what went into the writing process this time around? How it was? Yeah. Yeah? It was just smooth. Like, I think Joachim started to write songs for, for this album way back. Like, you know, he has, he has a lot of songs piled up. And we came in, me and Joachim wrote a song together, which will be a bonus track. Beam and Tobi wrote a song. Yeah, it was pretty smooth. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, so how does it feel playing Sabaton songs since uh, you're, you're new to the band? Yeah. You know, at first for me, I'm. How should I say it? I'm, it was. I haven't played like this much slow stuff because there are many slow songs. I've okay. been playing a lot of fast stuff, like a lot of death metal and mm -hmm. in every grade, a more progressive thing, you know? That's right. It's like it takes some time to get used to the slower stuff and to, you know, to really be grooving in it. Mm -hmm. But eventually I got, a, I got it, so. And I really enjoy it actually. The, their music is super fun to play, so I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Do, do you have any favorite songs that you like to play from Sabaton? Uh, I, I have, we have a song called The Art of War. Oh, yes. That song is perfect every night, you know, because it's really heavy. I really like the melody. It gets the mood going in a good way. Yeah. I also like playing the song Lion from the North. Oh, yes. It's a faster song. Mm -hmm. It's really cool as well. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Not playing that one on this round, though, but... Maybe next time. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will be coming back on the next yeah. tour, right? Yeah. Hopefully so, anyways. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of that, uh, what are your plans after this tour? Um, we will we do seven weeks here, I think. And then we go home for three days. And then we do a promotion trip in Europe. Mm -hmm. And then I think the festival summer starts. So we do it all over Europe, festivals everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then we have our own headlining show in Sweden in August, July, August. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be really cool. It's the biggest one we've, we've ever done. Outside venues, super cool. I'm looking forward to that one. Ah, oh, very cool. And then after that, it's classified. Classified? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully that means something coming back around here, because yeah. I'd love to see you guys doing another headline yeah. set around here. Me too. I think we will be back sooner or later, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, what have you guys been listening to on the road this time around? Oh. I can, let's see the Spotify offline list. Okay. Let's see what we got. You know, this. When you play this much, you don't really feel like maybe listening to that much metal, like on the bus. Oh yeah. So you listen to some, you know, more calm music. Mm -hmm. well, let's see what we got here. We got some The Haunted. Oh, very get nice. Get an Grey album actually. Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters, Arch Enemy, Rage Against the Machine, The Ghost, the mm -hmm. new album. Oh yeah. Devil Driver, Led Zeppelin, Soil Work, Queen, yeah, Coldplay, John Mayer, yeah. the New Testament album. As well. Oh, very nice. That's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Really enjoy that. That's a very nice diverse list you got going on there. Yeah. yeah, you know, for me, music has always been whatever I, you know, whatever is good. You know, I, if I hear a tune I like, I don't care if it's jazz or Polish death metal. You know, it doesn't matter. If I like it, I like it, and then I listen to it. Yeah. That's the way it should be. I mean, yeah. I'm the exact same way. Yeah. I think that's a good thing, because when you're that open-minded to different kinds of music, 
maybe it influences you in your drumming, you know, so I play cool stuff because I listen to some jazz track or whatever. Yeah. I think you should be open-minded and listen to a lot of different stuff. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. that goes through in my playing, too. Like, I have a couple metal bands, but I try to listen to, like, prog or alternative rock or stuff like that just yeah, to get different cool. ideas. To, yeah. That way you're just not stuck in the same mindset all the yeah. time because that yeah. just gets so boring. Yeah. You play? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I've been playing since I was nine years old, and uh, I'll be turning. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Yep. And I'll be turning 26 in August, so I've been playing since I was nine. That's so cool. I, yeah. Awesome. And uh, watching you with Evergrey a couple of years ago, yeah, I was like so inspired, and now I'm oh, yeah. even more inspired to see you with Sabaton. Yeah, I'm happy oh. to hear that. Yeah. Oh, I think you will like the show. I have a, I played the Yamaha kit. It's oh, yes. got endorsed by Yamaha. Oh, nice. I'm just not like just because I'm endorsed. Mm -hmm. I'm very very happy. It's, they're so good, and they, the new live live custom drums, which are made of oak. Oh, yes. You should definitely check that out, because they sound so good. So this Yamaha kit sounds very good. I got it. I made a new setup the other day, because mm -hmm. I like to try things around. Mm -hmm. Just to have a Tom here, and we'll see what happens, you know. Can I play this? <laughs> the cymbals are f***ing high, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a good challenge, the kit I have now. Yeah. I mean, it should be like that, too. I mean, you know, just like listening to different music, I mean, changing your setup around, I mean, it inspires creativity because it makes you think of ideas that you never had before. Definitely. And some, you have to do some parts because there's no Tom here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to do this, and, you know, and you get around and maybe something cool has come out of it, you know. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I've always been a fan of Yamaha. The first kid I ever played in yeah. school was a Yamaha. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I've always been a fan of them. Yeah. So that's cool to see endorsed by them. That's Yeah. It's a very never, great brand. I've actually never played the Yamaha kit since I got my first, back like six months ago. Mm -hmm. And I was blown away. It was like, okay, I'm done. This is all I need. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, so what are some drummers that you're inspired by lately? Oh, well, lately? Lately. Yeah. Um, Lately, uh, I've been. I like. The, there's a guy called Karim who was decapitated before. Oh yes, he's doing his own uh, solo album now. That's right. I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't picked it up yet though, but he's a really cool drummer. I think. Oh, absolutely. He does some really cool stuff. And also, I don't know lately. Oh, I just been rehearsing Sabaton songs. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, uh, just to wrap things up here, is yep. there anything else that you'd like to bring up that I've not brought up yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Man. Just come to the show, and uh, you know, I think you people enjoy it. Yeah, and let's have a good time. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Uh, uh, thank you very much for doing thank this interview. You. I mean, it's an, it's an honor. Appreciate it. Absolute honor to see you play again, and yeah. uh, have a great set tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoy. And once again, it's been Hannes from Sabaton, and this is that German guy, Josh Ronquist. Thank you. Have a good one.